So this is a little bit of an update to the Gina Carano situation. For some days now, I've not covered the 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 actress, and uh, there have been some developing situation. And I am here to tell you guys that it is looking good and it is looking bad for Star Wars. So the first is that Gina Carano was never told that her her job at Lucasfilm was terminated it, it it's really hilarious when you think about it that you get fired but you come to to see on social media that you were fired from a massive establishment like disney which is absolutely disgusting and horrible that a company like lucasfilm disney would treat one of their their ex-employees that way like literally they couldn't even t tell her to her very face that she was fired i i i, I really don't understand that and that is because they, they just don't have the balls to tell her to her face that she's fired because they know very well she never did anything wrong she really didn't do anything wrong um so in the in this particular interview so there is an interview that surfaced that uh, brings this to light. She was interviewed uh, by by uh, uh, by somebody. Uh, I'm trying to get the name of this person, but the the person interviewed her, and the 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 discussion went in this way that she was not notified that she was fired she only got to see it on social media and one of the other thing is that she was forced uh, about six seven months back to around august actually to apologize for the the bebop trans stuff uh, that she posted on on social media and she absolutely said no the the thing she wrote on social media was not an insult to the transgender community so she never saw a reason to apologize which is absolutely correct she shouldn't really be apologizing for uh for these for anything that she did not outrightly do wrong i i, I don't even see why people would be demanding for her to apologize like as if it's their job to to accept apology from uh, people so that's really really disgusting so that's really really disgusting to think about that and her post that got uh the last post that she posted that got her fired was really nothing more than an explanation of what is going on in the the society in general right now with you having a different political view and you are ostracized and pretty much castrated almost like it, it is that bad so i like this interview it is disgusting what lucasfilm did to her she is definitely becoming bigger with this and there is so much news about her that's being covered almost by the day and i think this would even carry on for the next few months because this is a wrongful termination of a, a celebrity that people actually gave a crap about like Judy carano is one in almost like a hundred actresses that people actually genuinely like and disney had a strong female character in her but yet they go ahead to fuck it they go ahead to mess it up uh and and here we are today so the other news that popped out is um uh the this news so after a few days this one popped out i think today this this clown called ryan johnson was interviewed so one thing he's saying that his trilogy is still underway and if this is to be believed and if this is correct or if this becomes an eventual reality i am sorry to say that this would become the death knell 
of Star Wars. I don't think Star Wars will re ever recover if Ryan Johnson makes another film in this franchise. I don't even care the continuity where he con the way he's where he starts from. The minute Star uh, Ryan Johnson handles another Star Wars project, this Star Wars as a franchise, as a beloved franchise, right now is already fallen off a cliff. It's pretty much hanging on a tree dangling off that cliff you know when you fall off a cliff there are some branches so star wars is on that branches it's almost fallen entirely off the entire cliff as i speak to you right now if ryan johnson makes another star wars film just kiss this franchise goodbye i don't think anybody will ever get behind this trash of a franchise it will pretty much become like star trek star trek is a joke in the in the sci-fi movie community let's let's be real about it stuff stuff star trek never really took off series we have we are average to bad at best not the previous ones but star wars is becoming as no star wars is actually worse than star trek right now that, that's how bad that's how low star wars is now star wars will become so much of an afterthought that Disney's investment, I don't even think Disney will be, will ever be able to recoup whatever they spent buying this this division. It is that horrible because this controversy, you know, I, I've actually thought about this. In the last five years, let me not even go as far as 10 years. In the last five years, or yeah, in the last five years, I have never heard of any major controversy from the Marvel division that Disney purchased. And the Marvel brand is the biggest brand. It's, it's, sorry, is the biggest movie division on the planet that makes hit after hit after hit. Everything Marvel has ever put out, except maybe say for Captain Marvel, that was divisive. I didn't like that film. It was woke, but at least it was one out of the whole twenty-three films that was at least the bad one, to be honest. But every other thing was average to fantastic and not just that marvel films have never gotten any backlash none i've never really seen any backlash for any marvel film the same goes for pixar films the same goes for the disney animation studios the visual films i just don't understand why Disney employed a moron to run that division because Kathleen Kennedy is obviously a moron. And I don't know. I really don't know what to say about that lady again because everybody has bashed her, criticized her. I think it's already an old record, right, at this point. So I really don't want to talk about it. if Ryan Johnson ever makes another Star Wars film, just consider this a dead franchise. This franchise is nearly dead as it is. They they had it being resurrected back to life with the Mandalorian. Now they've killed that 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 era that era of hope. That's dead. So let's let's see what happens if the Ryan Johnson trailer the trilogy ends up happening. Kiss this universe dead. The next story again. Uh, you know I'm trying to go over all the stories that came out in the last few days. I've not been able to cover all of them. So. Um, the next one is Hasbro canceling Gina Carano's Star Wars figure. So, you know, after she got fired, uh, they, they have not, like, they, they, they have not been able to continue taking orders. So if you order for her figure, you will get refunded. You it, it is already canceled. And the ones that have been sold on eBay are really on the high side, like literally very expensive right now so if you want to buy gina carano's action figure just go go on ebay you will spend almost five to six times the amount you you could have bought, bought it when it was still on the shelf but it's no longer like that so it's now on the expensive side uh but regardless i think it's worth it because uh gina really is one of the main characters that brought uh, the fan enjoyment back to the Star Wars 
Star Wars universe, but Disney has finally wrecked, messed messed it up by by throwing her away, and that is really horrible. Then the last story of the day is um, this clown, uh, this this clown called uh, what was that his name? Pedro Pascal. So it is being rumored. This this one is a rumor, but it's being rumored that he will not be returning for the mandalorian so but but listen guys this is a rumor it's coming from different sites we got discovered cosmic book news all these sites are not are not proper in hollywood inside inside news sites so these sites are more or less like rumor sites just to build fan excitement and all that so don't take it so seriously when i go over the thing they are reporting so what they are saying here is that you know normally when a big act of a franchise is still performing a role in that franchise it is not common that they leave or just they go sign on to be a head role in another franchise for another competing studio so this has just happened now because pedro pascal is the lead actor now in the upcoming series the last of us that uh warner brother i think it's warner brothers on netflix i think it's yes warner brothers yeah warner brothers so warner brothers is doing the last of us series so he will be um one of the main uh one of the main characters i don't play the game but i think he is joel yeah he's gonna be joel so he will be joel in that game uh, in the sorry in the series uh, so i don't know i don't know what the mandalorian future would look like because the way it is they are going to start shooting the last of us i think this year so it's really not possible for the mandalorian season three to shoot next year because it was supposed to debut next year so anything that would have uh happened in the production aspect should really happen this year and if pedro pascal is shooting this whole season of the last of us i really don't know whether he will have that space to shoot mandalorian 3 now for all uh for all i know they could still make out some time for him to shoot the mandalorian season three i don't like this guy honestly this guy is an is really an ass hat i don't like this guy if he's leaving the mandalorian fine he really didn't bring much to the table i like the mandalorian the Dijan uh character but pedro pascal is is just an annoying dude i i he's just an annoying racist so i, I really don't like that guy uh, whatever happens to him from now on is really not of my concern but i will report his news if he's quitting mandalorian then all well and good all well and good uh so that is the news right now i just had to make this a little bit short so uh try and subscribe to our channel like our content follow on social media i'm going to see you guys next time